Greetings, welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are gonna carry on with our Something From Nothing series and today it is going to be Land of the Envelopes. <laughs> um, I don't think I'll probably do all of these on camera but if you're like me, you have some of these envelopes saved or maybe just like general envelopes that you can use for this project. Um, again, this is nothing new but we are going to be using our scraps and that's the whole point of this series. Uh, so my idea for today is we're going to just be doing some general collaging on our envelopes. So I hope that you guys will uh, hang out with me for a while, grab your envelopes, grab your scraps. And what I wanted to say was that even though we are going to, like we have a lot of piles of scraps, right? We have our piles organized. I would say that having your book page pile and your like plain-ish paper pile nearby is a good idea and then for any book that you're working on have those scraps for that particular book nearby so that you can use the um so that you can tie the themes together um if you're not doing any themes then just randomly dig into your piles also before we get started i also want to say um in regards to like the master board video or also even the video where we made these gift tags, um, people, there are other crafters watching these videos and you guys, if you're not reading the comments of what these other crafters are saying, you should because um, they have some great ideas and great suggestions, um, things that I'm not thinking of or saying of, uh, saying at the time of my video. So make sure that you guys read the comments, communicate with each other because you guys all have some really good ideas down there. And um, I think you're just losing out. Like if you're only just watching the video and then maybe you comment and then you bounce out, just skim the comments because sometimes you can get ideas from each other. And that's kind of what this is all about, you know, like just share. And um, yeah, I just wanted to add that in. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started with this for today. Yes. All right, so today I'm gonna start out with my Halloween the book that I'm doing that's Halloween. I only need one envelope at a time. So the first thing that I wanna do is, before I start collaging and then I get devastated, <laughs> I'm gonna take my signature and I wanna see if this envelope, cause I'm gonna use it for this book. So it is a little too tall for this book. Um, if you don't mind that, that's okay. But for me, I wanna cut it down a little bit. So that's the first thing that I'm gonna do is chop my envelope down just a bit. All right, now that I've cut that down a bit, I need to move this pile because <clears throat> it's not a sunny day today and the um, pile is casting a shadow. <laughs> so I feel like it's hard for you guys to see. So I'm gonna move this over here and we'll see if I can scoot this way a little. Okay. All right, so to get started, I'm just gonna dig in. Again, we've got more of these strips here. The first the first thing I wanna do is see if I can use these one of these strips or any of them to cover the flap on the envelope because that's like really one thing, like if you've got a nice long strip like this, it's one thing that you can easily use in one fell swoop. Um, I think though, well, actually, you know what? Let's glue this down. And then I think, oh, my scissors got buried. The flap is just a little bit over, so I'm just gonna trim it down just a sliver and boom nice okay and then I want to do the inside as well so I'm just gonna take another strip wow that one's already connected <laughs> so I'm gonna take this strip and I'm just gonna take this one over to the edge it's a little narrow let me see if I have one that's a little bit wider I don't mind like if some of that showing it's the inside of the envelope anyway. So yeah, I'm just gonna run with it. Yep, 
Now, don't forget, we do have this piece that's open because we had to cut it down. All right, so we got the flaps on there. I just trimmed down the edges, and then don't forget, we have this little piece that's open, but we'll take care of that. All right, so I just started out with this. I keep forgetting to press record. <laughs> okay, so I have this big scrap here, perfect. I want to mix it up with like maybe some book page, perhaps. Do I still have some pulled out here somewhere? Maybe. I, uh... Here we go. Got a little book page. And <clears throat> got a little scrap here, and I'm going to like this. And I think I want to just tear this a little to make it a little rustic. Like so. This is another fun project that you can do just leisurely. These are the kinds of things I like to do when I'm just like watching a TV show. And I just, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to sit down and bust through some scraps, you know. <laughs> and why not? Why not? Okay. Cool. So I've got a little excess here. I'm just going to trim this off. And I think for over here, we'll do this. And I'm gonna like that a little, tear it. And then I think I'm gonna tear this little edge a little bit too. And just like that, we've got a nice little base collaged. Now let's do the front. I think I'm gonna speed up the front side. The light is starting to betray me, so <laughs> I'm gonna just put it on silent and let you guys watch this part and then we'll come on back.
All right, so it's looking good. Just getting the excess trimmed off. Okay, it's looking really, really good, guys. But we still need to do a couple little things. Like right here, we've got that strip of white. Now I can distress that down. Um, and then we've got a couple little spaces here. But what I wanna do for those is I want to grab my washi tape. So we're gonna do a, little, um, a few little pieces with washi tape on here. So grab yours. I'm gonna go grab my washi tape and we'll be right back. Okay, so back with some washi, washi tape. And uh, I'm just gonna go to some of these uh, parts where there's a little bit of empty space. Like right here, for example. Add a little strip there. And I wanna add a little bit right up here like that, and then I'm gonna to switch to a different tape. Something else that's fitting with this vibe. Okay, so let's put a little bit here. And over on this side, I'm gonna add a little piece here. Okay, and I think that's not too, not too bad, because we can still come back and add some other stuff to this. So yeah, so I think that's good. Now let's distress this a little bit. I'm going to take my black soot. And then we're gonna just distress this a little to give it a, a little bit more of a framed, finished look. I like to do that because it does actually really help it out a lot. I'm gonna get that flap done, our edges. If you want, you can run it over a few places like this. And then I also wanna grab, uh, do this part of the flap as well. All right, this is looking good to me. Now, we do need to address that. We do have this piece open here. Um, I want to get that sealed back up. So I think I might just go with a little, let's see, I could use a book page. I could use washi. I could use really anything. Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I think maybe I'll take a piece of this. So I'm just going to take this piece and fold it in half. I've already cut it to the size of my envelope. Um, I am going to burnish this if I can find my bone folder. <laughs> All right, here we go. And actually, I think I need to cut a little bit shorter. Yeah, like this. Easy, no problems. I don't really, I don't really want to cover my uh, hand, so I think what I'll do is, could we do this on the inside? Yeah. All right. So why don't I cut this down actually a little bit more? And then what I'm gonna do is, I want to glue here. And here, and <clears throat> I'm going to just uh, put this right in here, 
and line it up and boom perfection nice oh yeah that's perfect so now we have it that's great now the envelope is sealed cool okay so there's that now the next thing that we can do with these I think I might only have time to do just one envelope but I think you guys will get the gist and as you already know I, I will be carrying on off camera but I at least like to come on here and show you guys like what I'm doing so that you guys can you know keep up the pace or come back to these as you see fit while you're also working on your scraps now I'm gonna look in my pile here and we're also getting to the point where I'm going to have to start focusing on one book at a time because it's starting to get like more and more condensed and it's making it's going to make me feel jumbled if I don't. So I think pretty soon we're going to just switch over because like right now I know I'm only showing you guys one at a time, but I'm actually working on all three at once. But pretty soon we're going to switch over to doing um, just one book at a time and start getting it really like ready for the cover and then yeah then we'll just go from there so what I want to do for this though is I've got well this is like some ephemera that I pulled to go inside the book but like this here maybe one of these words um, <clears throat> so I just pulled that out of my one of my piles here for my Halloween book so what I'm gonna do is I want to Ah, the sun is going down, down, down. It was supposed to rain today. It didn't rain, but uh, hopefully tomorrow. So I'm going to cut this down kind of close, but not too close. And I don't care if it's uneven because I'm going to distress it like this. I have the right tool for this, but I don't want to go dig for it right now. <laughs> So if you're doing it this way that I'm doing it, please be careful with your scissors, especially because scissors are sharp. Okay, okay. And then this little piece, I'm just gonna roughly cut it in a swinkle. Like so. And then on both of these, I wanna distress them down a little bit. Paper in there. Okay, distress. And let's go ahead and distress here. Perfect. Now, with this, I think I'm going to put this circle piece right here on the back. Kind of like right there I like that so I'm just gonna glue that down I like it right there phone folder and then I'm going to add the wood right here in the front and I think that gives it a nice finished look. I probably will take it to my machine and give it a really nice thin um, single stitch around it. But for the most part, it, it could be done here. Like if this is how you want to finish it, that's perfect. Um, you can round these corners. So I've got my little, I'll do them at a quarter. Oop. what I did there okay so now they're rounded perfect so that is this one um, I would do another one with you guys but I think you get the gist of it um, I'll link again inspos in the uh, description box and I hope that you guys will enjoy making some of these scrappy envelopes and I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.